Hey, Gemini gang. What's happening? All Gemini placements. Take what resonates. Leave the rest. Take it how it resonates with you and your situation, okay? Personal readings are in the description box if you want a one-on-one -on -one with me. Check out the website. If you want to check out Mystic Sense, check out Mystic Sense, okay? Um, happy birthday! All May 30th, Gemini's turned up, up, up. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, Gemini's, let's see what's going on with you. Hit those likes, hit those likes, hit those likes. Gemini's, hit that subscribe. All right. So, let's see what's going on with you, Gemini's. Mm -hmm. Let's see what's going on. I'm recording a little bit later than usual, so the videos may be going up a little bit later. Okay, free yourself, Gemini's. Calling in your soulmate. Okay, you got a soulmate coming. Mm -hmm. Okay, we have that make the effort card, and retreat is on the bottom. Okay, this is an interesting energy. Mm -hmm. Gemini's, are you trying to like get away from someone? Now, the retreat and the free yourself could be, like, someone needing to free themselves from something toxic, too. Like, some type of toxic patterns. Um, let's see. Because it says that it's time to take back your energy. The Nine of Wands. Huh. So, someone's having their guard up. Oh, that could be free yourself from having this wall. Because if you see in, the, in this card, it's like a wall built up around around him you see that so someone may be needing to um uh release themselves from this wall that they built around them. oh child the fucking towers on the bottom that's exactly what it is Ooh. <laughs> gemini you may have done this for someone as well like the wall that someone has built around themselves is coming is coming tumbling down or spirit is advising them to do that and this could be you as well Okay. The Knight of Cups. Mm hmm The Two of Wands. Somebody's planning something for you. The Page of Wands on the bottom. Yeah, something fun. Someone's planning something for you. Mm-hmm. Could be something birthday related. Doesn't have to be, but um, I feel like somebody's like wanting to do something sweet for you. Something nice. So now they kind of go back and forth in their head about it. Like, hmm, what should I do for Gemini? Ten of Wands. Mm-hmm. I'm putting in that work. The chariot. Uh, the chariot. <laughs> the chariot's on the bottom. Could be a cancer some of you guys are dealing with. So I feel like Gemini's, um, someone may be creating, like, unnecessary burdens for themselves. But what I find interesting here is the Nine of Wands is here. And then the Ten of Wands is here. So I feel like something is progressing between you and this person, um, Gemini. So this person wants something to progress between you two. Like this person wants things to move forward um, with you, uh, Gemini. Uh, and I'm not sure if this is you or your person, but I feel like someone feels like they have like the weight of the world on their shoulders. Um, and I feel like someone is needing to be like relieved of that. Be, be relieved of all the burdens that they have. It could be this person that has like a lot of burdens in their life, Gemini. This person may have like a lot going on um, that you may not be aware of. It's like you're, you might be this person's like escape, um, Gemini, if that makes sense. What the hell? The Knight of Swords, the Five of Swords, the Nine of Swords, and the Ten of Swords. What the hell? The moon's on the bottom. Gemini, let me say this. First and foremost, um, someone is really needing to stop overthinking because my God. Someone overthinks themselves to oblivion. It's almost as if too, like, I get a vibe of someone's like, physical health being affected by their overthinking and their worrying, Gemini. So if this is you, 
please be cautious of that like please be cautious of over stress over worry um because it's, it can cause like physical effects on you so i'll give you an example like say you're wanting to hear from someone or you're wanting to talk to someone and you haven't heard from that person uh gemini's and, and you're just you're in anxiety and you're stressing and that that can cause like physical um ailments on you gemini's if you're if you're a chronic warrior okay so please be mindful of that because i feel like um and if this isn't you this is the person on your mind that is that could be worried and stressed to the point where it's it's affects them physically um yeah so just be mindful of that uh gemini's but i feel like someone is um is needing to learn how to open up this is the vibe that i'm getting someone's learning how to open up but my god the energy here is a little depressing <laughs> i will say that somebody is very very um somebody's going through a dark night of the soul i'll say that for sure. I also feel like too, Gemini's, it's it's like I don't see anything money related yet, but it's like this person wants to do they feel like this person wants to do something for you or a lot for you, but they feel like they can't for whatever reason. For some of you you're just flat out not talking to them. Um, but it's like this person feels like they can't do what they what they really want for you. Um yeah i'm also getting the vibe too this person may feel like you have someone else or you have other options too like you're not they're not the only one holy shit gemini's the eight of swords what the hell is going on the six of cups on the bottom gemini's somebody's in some type of like mental turmoil and it's needing to be released someone needs to release uh find ways to release stress it's like this person doesn't see a way out of their situation so if you're not talking to this person gemini's i feel like they are like um how can i put it they they don't they don't see a way to talk to you or they don't see a way to work this out and again this could be you like it's i feel like someone is is like feeling hopeless of the whole situation that's the vibe i'm getting it's like this hope this feeling of like hopelessness like you know i could never do this or i can't figure this out type of thing mm -hmm. two of cups yeah that's just somebody wanting to compete for you. Somebody feels like you're their person, like you're their soulmate. Um, you know, you're the person that they're supposed to be with. And I feel like they're willing to compete for you. They're willing to get rid of, you know, if there's other people in the picture, they're willing to get rid of them. Um, Gemini's and I feel like they want you to get rid of your options. <laughs> it's like this person wants to win. Like this person wants to win you. They want to be the one that comes out on top. Um, Gemini's and this person will do whatever like and, and I'll say I'll say that this person will do whatever to um, to get you and to keep you what's interesting though like I said earlier with the nine of wands turning into the ten we have the nine of swords here turned into the ten so I feel like something is is wrapping up between you two and I don't mean that it's necessarily ending but there's a completion here because tens are about completion so there's something here between you and this person that's completing. Oh, there's an eight too. The eight of swords, nine of swords, and ten of swords. So I feel like this is like some type of cycle that's breaking between you two, Gemini's. Like something is coming to uh, a close. Oh, six of cups. Oh, wow. Gemini's. Five of pentacles. If you're, this, this gives me the vibe of my handwritten note um i miss you so much it hurts this is what i'm getting here this person misses the fuck out of you so like i said they can feel it physically crazy yeah gemini's this person misses you a lot it's like this person longs for you yearns for you um and like i said they don't 
they they may even feel it in their body. You know how you when you are um, upset, you can like feel it in your stomach. You know what I mean? Some people like literally like vomit. They get so nervous sometimes. So I feel like someone is can physically feel um, in their body them missing you and yearning for you. Uh, Gemini's but it, I feel like too this person may have um they may be concerned about you remembering like all the bullshit that they've done too yeah I feel like they may be thinking about that like Gemini's gonna always remember you know how shitty of a person I was to them the hangman oh child I told you with the Ten of Swords again, there's a transition happening between you and this person, Geminis. Yep, there's a transition. I feel like um, the energy is shifting between you two, Geminis, and I feel like it's in a positive way. But I feel like a lot of you guys need to stop fighting it because a lot of times we fight it, um, especially when we don't want to separate from a person. Sometimes a separation is needed. You know, so so they can get themselves together. You can figure out what you want. Y'all can get y'all energy together. Sometimes y'all just need to get y'all's energy together. Not everyone is able to uh, stay together in sync and get the get the energy right. Um, some people can. You know, those those are like more blessed. They're they're more blessed. But a lot of people, you need to separate and then come back together once you guys have done some healing. And that's what I'm seeing here. Um, Gemini, some of you may be going through this now where this where you guys are separated because this person needed to do some healing with themselves. You need to do some healing with yourself. But this person is longing for you. <clears throat> they yearn for you. Like I said, they can you, they can feel it in their body physically. Um, wanting you, wanting to be around you, missing you, um, Gemini's. But like I said, there's there's a transition going on between you and this person. Um, and like I've said, with a lot of one-on-ones, with, with growing pains, when, when you're growing and, and you're evolving, sometimes it's painful. Um, so for some of you, this person is, is kind of going through it mentally because, you know, they're growing uh, as well, Gemini's. Like, they're being prepared for this connection. You're being prepared for this connection. Or this one or, you know, another one. Take it how it resonates, um, Gemini's. But they are going through it mentally. Like a lot. But I don't feel like they'll be there. They won't be there forever. Alright, Gemini's. Um, I could have sworn I had my other deck, but I don't. So. person wants to like feel you like they this person wants to like physically touch you um it's like they need to bottom we have I see you working to create change and I'm proud of what you are accomplishing I want to work on this mission with you I love it all right let's see okay ooh karmic ties mm -hmm. that that makes a lot of sense I know I need to release attachments with karmic people I'm creating a plan to leave him slash her ooh shit 
Okay, I'm beginning to focus on my mission and our connection is part of that. Yeah, Gemini's, I feel like this person is having to do a lot of growing, a lot of soul searching. Um, they're going through some type of transition. This connection is going through some type of transition period. And I feel like it's, it's not, it's, it's uncomfortable, it's a little painful, um, could be for both of you, uh, Gemini's. The universe brought us together for a reason. I'm discovering what those reasons are. Yeah. Neither one of us is being honest right now. Why are we afraid to express ourselves? Mm -hmm. I'm telling you, this person is like, which is crazy to me that when you hold stuff in all the time, it's it can cause pain, you guys. And I feel like this is what's going on. The same divine energy flows in each of us. This energy is the catalyst to our reunion. We just need to allow this energy to work its magic. See, didn't I say that you guys just kind of need to release? Let this go and let it flow. I'm not saying you have to end it, but let this transition happen naturally. Because if you keep fighting it, keep fighting it, that's why you're in the stressness and anxiety. Let the transition happen uh, naturally, Gemini's. Okay, don't fight it. All right, hit those likes, hit those subscribe, you guys. Thank you for watching. Peace out.